a very beautiful Wednesday afternoon from wherever you are. This is Jalango TV and the program on air is Bonga Najalas. Now, Ahadi Nideni or as you can put it out there, you know, Ahadi ne Deni. English should say a promise is a debt. As you speak today, the interviewer who interviewed the interviewee is seated with the interviewer to be interviewed. <laughs> Welcome, Lynn, my sister. How are you doing? Sanitize. Sanitize. Uko kwa kopi kwa kwa kufuletea sanitize. Siulize, man. Araka sana. How are you doing? I'm good. Man, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for the opportunity you gave me. Yes. At Tuko Talks, Tuko and uh, Talks. I've watched it. Mm. People are loving the interview. What do you think? Do, I give a, do we have a good interview? It was beautiful. Uh -huh. It was beautiful. I now not take where the tea was. Oh, in the end, I will. In the end, I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. I actually Ed Munye Kwapa. Yes. Uh, uh, Ed Director. The legendary himself. Yes. Wow. Yes. Welcome so much. Thank you. This is Miale. Beautiful. This is where we do uh, this amazing interview. Yeah. kama wewe uko pale kwa kiwanja ni ni ni. Are you loving our seats? I love it. I'm challenged. Huh? I love it. Yeah. I love the place. It's sparkling water. Edi ona kunywa pole pole. Majua na semanga sparkling water. 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 So, yeah. uh, unlike you who didn't buy us any luggage. <laughs> Huyu uh, alitufanyisha interview kwa shamba Bada kutufanyisha interview kwa shamba Katuambia Asantini, thanks for coming Nasema, lunch, lunch Naimba Lisa, akuma Ah, atu alikula So what you do like for lunch? Mimi Miale have the best the best chicken, yes. the best fish. Yeah. If you love uh, your juice, very cold and yeah. nice. Yeah. If you love, we have something called Miale special. Okay. They also have boozy. Yeah. It's amazing, amazing. And so it's for you just to decide what you want. What's your favorite here? I'll get you Miale special because you are it? a special guest. Oh, thank you. Be sana Asante, jealous. Wow, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Yesterday, I posted that you are coming to talk to us here. Yeah. Comments, comments, DM, what when you want to put a People who want just for you yeah. to talk to them. Mm -hmm. People who just want to share their stories with you. Yeah. Because they see your platform as a platform of hope. A platform to change the community. Mm -hmm. A platform where they can come and open up and tell their stories. Yeah. I'm telling you in my DM is a thousand and one people wishing to share their stories. Yes. Wow. How did this whole journey begin? Kwanza ana before the journey ni akuna venye singe kosa kukam kwa isho and I keep saying and repeating zile siku nilikuwa naanza you know they were tough ata sijui kaka kuna mtu alikuwa na jua jina lingogi alafu mengia pale tu corporation dio iyo tim tunataka content tunataka nini and I kept by jealous nilipigi ya watu nilipigi ya watu and I remember I called you ukaniambia text me. Nika kuambia if I can enter, ulitupia success tips. Hizo siku nikuwa nataka entertainers watupatia success tips. Nika kupigia, nilikuwa nimekukoli, nika call Eriko, Eriko Mondi. And then you just told me, lini, ilikuwa Wednesday. So, pale KNT, ukaniambia tufanya ikitu Wednesday at 11am. Na Wednesday 11am ulikuwa hapo. Siku anajua, unaeza nijibu. Nika call Eriko Mondi, Eriko Mondi akaniambia, lini, when do you want us to do this interview? So for me, you even being able, because at here at at it will be quite it. Unajuana, unajualin. So for you to be able to even say yes, na ukatupatia your time to likuwa na direct and inoche. Mtu kaku interview, you gave us your best apple K N T apple ju. Ato uka recommend to shoot here ni pale ju. For me that was incredible. So even for me to come on your show, it's an honor. 
Wow, and yeah. uh, that is one thing I want to tell so many people are yeah. coming. Yeah. How maybe sometimes you see you struggle with people. Mm -hmm. Lucky enough, by the time last year when we were starting this show, yeah. I definitely jealous is jealous, and I would call you and tell you, hey boss, we need an interview with yeah. you. Then you would respect it. Mm -hmm. But then there are times when now you are starting something, yeah. and maybe people do not believe in you. Mm -hmm. You are trying, you are struggling to start, you are trying. If you're out there, yeah. passing through the beginning of your career, trying to see and facing these challenges, everyone went through these challenges. Exactly. I can imagine those days you and director, <laughs> Nani, I'm a conda hapo, <laughs> na corner up, I'm like, okay, what does this girl But I trusted you, yeah. and I knew that, you know what, because mm -hmm. I believe in small beginnings. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Which is incredible for me, mm -hmm. and I am learning, like I told you in the interview, to give people their flowers when they are still alive. Staki ni kai 10 years later ni seme, oh jalasa likuwa mse nataka tu ni kuambie sayi kwa macho yako. The support you are giving people is incredible and that's why some people like us, we are out there giving opportunities to other people because wow. we know what that can do to a person. Wow. Yeah. Now, just to to start us off, yes. you tell people stories, you bring these amazing stories. Yeah. There's somebody who told us at how calm Lynn is with her interviewers. Na venya na kuskuma kwa ukuta unastukia tu, umejibu paka kitu hau kwa So, 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 how did you get yourself at to do what you're doing now? Mm. Where does your journey begin? Mm. You know, this is the first time I'm even giving my story mm. in English or Swahili. Mm. I did one in Kikuyu Kitambo sana. Mm. But my journey, uh, like, I mean, I mean, I mean, so of course I'm lean. Um, I come from a family of four. I have sisters, so I'm the second born in a family of four. So Kunashko, the uh, my big sister Mimi, then Ruth, then my small sister, and then my mama. Uh -huh. The whole sisters. Yeah, we are all sisters. Atuna ka boy right now. Do you bless you one of my nephew who mm -hmm. is, if you all watched your interview, ako incubated in hospital, but say ako poor and um. Saya Kopoa, so okay. we have a nephew now, mm. and I'm also an aunt. So I'm an aunt to two. Okay. Uh, my niece Courtney, and now my nephew mm -hmm. David, and mm -hmm. a wonderful mom. For wow. me, my mom, my mom is killer kitu. Sijui mimi ata mkiniambia, who is your role model? Mm. Who nini nini? It will always be my mom. Kabla kijaenda yes. kambani kabisa. Yeah. Nyorosha mkono kwele kamera. Yes. Hivi karibuni. Yeah. You will just not be a nephew. Yeah. Uh, you just don't be a sister. I can a nephew. I can go over go. Mutu atatokele zia pa hali. Sanitize. Sanitize. Natakuja. Natakuja na mother and nephew. It'll be my son. I'm a mother of my son. My daughter. And <laughs> My mom, I'm mainly, I was mainly raised by a single mom. Okay. Yeah, so my dad died 2014, oh. but he was not like majorly in our lives. So I've been brought up uh, by a single mom. My mom, I keep saying my mom gave up the world for us to have your world. She was, when she met my mom, of course, they were young. They were our young loves, young lovers, mm. Nini. Mm. So, yeah, at Ashule, she always wanted to go to Kenyatta University, but her kuenda, since Alipata first born wake, akiwa around 16, 17. Mm -hmm. So my mom was a young mom. I learned kupata tena watoto wengine watatu, of course, schools now become history, but anasemanga bado anaeza taka kurundi shule. So mainly raised by a single mom, of course, challenges happen at Pale. So that's why I always say my mom is everything. She mm. sacrificed so much. I've seen her wake up. Even up to now, people ask me, Lim Bono na mkanga satisa. Nikitu iko subconscious in my mind. Because I saw my mom wake, wake up like so early. Our pange, our um, our chie, our pikie, your nini mchele. I go kwa na breakfast hizo siku. Me, I always afford breakfast because it's not like I was brought up in a well of family. Ni karum kamoja muna finyana nini water ya. And where was this one? Um, I was born in Pumwani, so that's when we were staying with my dad, Ugu. So then my dad and my mom, they parted ways. So mainly, my main years have grown in Huruma. Uh, Huapa Huruma, Hapo. 
So in Huruma, we grew up in a casino room. Johnny Saga Ma. I see Johnny. Unona before between Madare mm. na Huruma. Kwa I kuna iyo bridge. Eh? So mm. us to liko between Madare na Huruma. So mm. we were okay face get up. Because mm. I've seen so many people wezi iyo area si wona jo wenye kulikuanga life. Una mm. mka subui five. Wona chungulia bada ya good morning. <laughs> Watu viveti wa menyanganyo wabibaya sana. Wona <laughs> chuo ezi yongea mawe itarusho kwa dirisha enyo. So it was more like a tough, tough. Ilikuwa humble beginnings. I've been brought up in a very humble background. I remember there are many times we've gone without food. Uh, there are many times life has been hard. It has knocked us. Shule hata ulikuwa unafukuzwa teacher akiingia baada hata akwambie wewe enda au ulishamu unafanya nini unaenda unatoka kuzu ashazoea akikuja the first thing anasema ni wewe 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 uko tu kwa list so my mom really gave um my mom gave us the best she could and um she was uh, she was an amazing she's an amazing person she is really determined so hiyo humble background yake anauza viatu kikomba alianza na viatu saba kikomba pale save so ana buy za dhati pop anapaka dai anawekea watu pale save anauza moja anarudi na sita then mse akamcha unakumchanua kuja kikomba come sell these shoes buy shoes in kikomba sell them so from there we started even affording bread in the morning we started even having tea kiwa na maziwa but my mom even though she did not get to go to Kenyatta University she was very strict on education right so she made sure no matter what happens hata kama mtaenda shule na viraka unaenda shule hata kama utafukuzwa mara 20 we keep going and coming back keep going and coming back she's very strict on education and that's why even in my family kila mtu ameenda college wow. na yeye tu na hizo viatu zake kukazana kikomba kupeleka viatu huko kisii siku za soko anaenda friday anarudi mande kuzipeleka huko runyenjes Yaani kama ni so market days. So market days my mom mpaka sasa hii akachanuka akajua shimo ziko wapi. So ametulea ka make sure we have all gone to to nini to, to school, to school and, college. and college and college. Where did you go to school? I went to school. Nimesomea shule mob cause ya kufukuzwa. So class 8 nilimalizia ndururuno. So ndururuno primary ko huruma. The way I went to Ndururuno ni cause nilimaliza nikapata 3 300 and something marks on 383 marks nikaitwa hapa Moy Girls mm. my mama angi afford kunipeleka Moy Girls sasa ana kama sisi stangu wako high school mm. that's why you are telling me brother ako mkiwa shule mm. ilikuwa inaniingia cause it's the same thing with my sister sisi stangu wako high school and then my mama mekama miniambia sasa unajua sina pesa ya kuwapeleka nini wote high school utabidi urudi urudie urudie class 8 Ah mi kwa mbwa narudia class 8 alafu naangalia my mom nasema mm, I'll do it mom cuz unaona ajui hata basari atatoa wapi huruma ukiishi kama ujui who is who hautaenda hizo shule hakuna basari basari ni between who knows who where and how so kuniambia nirudie <coughs> that's when kibaki alisema school ni free wow. so nikienda class 8 ndururuno una, una report na loka yako so nilibeba loka nikinge hiyo class mimi ndio nilikuwa the old one out cuz mama alinitengenezesha kaloka sijui ka 350 hata kanitoshei so kuna imagine umeenda kama umesukuma kaloka kako <laughs> unaingia class alafu unapata wase kwa class kila mse yako na loka hizi tuona jua hizi loka venye wase huka sijui loka nilitumia desk ulitumia desk mm. so hiyo time wase walikuwa kwa loka so kaloka kangu kalikuwa the old one out alafu ticha anakuambia ndio ukae huko nyuma sasa that teacher was an amazing man anaitwa Mr. Uchilo. I am good at maths. I'm good at English. Mm. So tukaletoa mtihani lin ni nani? Nikaperform vibaya sana 88%. So ukiperform unakaa huku mbele. Hey, so nikaletoa hapa mbele. Mm. So kila so ukiingia kaloka kangu ndio unapita, uwe mm. uende. Hii ni kwa watu wameperform poa. Ni kwa watu wameperform poa lakini kaloka. Hey, but you should be bus. Nilikuwa na kajuma. <laughs> kama ni kwani performance ya math ndio kwa mbele eh wa ningekuwa na kanyo kwa sababu kweli hata nikiingia form 1 mimi ni drop maths form 
Ah. Si na si ati liko ina dropewa. Yani yani akili tu yani na isabu. Sasa mati ni drop. Ni ka drop physics. Ni li drop care. Ni liko na fanya tu siari peke ati liko na dami. Na agriculture. Nilikuwa na commerce, commerce. Kulikuwa na option ya agriculture na commerce. So commerce siari hizo ndio nilikuwa. So wewe ndio loka yako iko pale mtu wa kwanza. Mimi ni wa maths na physics na hizo nini. Hata nashindangwa nilijipata aje na interview watu. So unafanya unafanya class hii tunatokea nikapata max poa but then again nikaitwa Kenya High hapo Kenya High eh hakuna tena school fees mamangu huko kwenye alikuwa anaenda kuuza viatu huko Kinango alinipeleka shule ingine iko huko kwa ma kwa, kwa baridi huko kwa kabe yuko ndani kwa waru huko kwa waru unavaa leg warmers zinafika hapa unavaa ingine inafika hapo uvae sweater uvae nini Baridi inakushika na mnafamu wa mke five na mnaoga sayo na maji baridi unasema Shule inaitwa aje? Magumu. <laughs> <laughs> magumu. Okay. <laughs> magumu. Hawezi hata unajinya shule wajue unaenda kupitia magumu huko. Diji da shule. <laughs> so kwa magumu. Eh so ni magumu tunaenda nikasoma huko i was very good mimi sikuripota sana vitu complete hata sikuwa nimeitwa hiyo shule mamangu si anapita ngapo anaona shule yeye alienda akabai box mattress nini nini akaenda akaambia teacher nimeleta msichana wangu sikuwa na hata letter of admission ukaingia we got a good teacher Then from kenya high unaitwa yeah. kenya high ukaenda magumu eh hey, vizuri sana unaenda magumu umeingia una admission una chochote tukapata a good deputy teacher anaitwa Mrs. Wangaru yakasikiza story ya mamangu akamwambia let her go to let her go to class wakaacho wakisort vitu na mama mamangu high school pia hivi kutoka kufukuzwa but mm. i had a very good teacher in high school na hapa ndio passion yangu ya journalism ilitokea anaitwa Mr. Nandoha alikuwa hizi za ni teacher tu akukuja for a while alafu arudi so cause i was really good at english na hizo unajua mimi nilikuwa nasikiza songs mm -hmm. tukiwa huruma kuna best yangu anaitwa Ivan ni alinifundisha anga hip hop mm -hmm. so nasikiza hip hop to back imoto technique sijui akina nasa akina big sijui nini mimi kwa essay sanitizer let go ke unasikia to back <laughs> Lin anasikia tu park na bigi na my motor na makila kitu na sasa hiyo chali yake Evans ndiye ako na cassette usiharibie Evans na kwa sema tu Tengeneza thumbnail my first boyfriend was called Evans wewe brother na choma haikuwa hiyo chali yangu alikuwa huko third floor hizo siku si tulikuwa second year alikuwa third floor so home hapo tu home hata unamjua nipaje siwezi kuambia nina utaniambia siwezi aseme asisemi siwezi asisemi so aturudi kwa english so ticha nimechangamuka imagine imagine tutafanya watu wa fikiri tunapea watu ati maji ni maji sasa jalas kwa comment watu wanasemaje? Niseme. Hey. Ah. Wanasemaje? Nitawaambia basi kabla niende. Eh eh, very nice. Naona naona mafans hapo. Mafans wamejaa angalia. Angalia. Sasa. Ile English. So mimi essays nilikuwa naandika kutoka kwa mawimbo nikisikia wimbo wa moto techniques sijui dance with the devil naenda na itengeneza inakuwa essay ingine kali ticha anasema brilliant talented gifted mpaka naitwa nisomee watu hapo mbele so kama ni moto technique ako i once knew nini his name was ili william hiyo ni wimbo mimi nimeiandika imekuwa composition kali sana leta kamera kwangu hivi niambie watu kitu fulani kitu fulani ehe now 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 we we are with lin here 
Lim anasikia immortal techniques bigi na tupak. Na tupak. Yes. Sawa. Na tupak. Sasa mimi naandika hizo composition this teacher and that's why it's important for teachers to be able si kila saa kukemea students to be able to tell a student you have a talent when you see it. Wow. Akanichukua akaniambia hata I should manage the library so I started reading. I read a lot of books. Huh? That's where my passion for reading came from. Nasoma books, nafanya ABC. Then nikaanza kuona I think I can even interview people. So tukiwa shule na weka mtu pale na mwambie bu ni kuinterview kuhusu sports. Wow. Ebu ni kuinterview kuhusu drama. So the teacher was really good. He's the one who gave me books za kina Martin Luther King letter from Birmingham jail ananiambia niende nisome hizi vitabu so pale huruma cause anything can go wrong anytime mimi nikifunga shule kuna base nyuma ya plot nilikuwa naenda anga kukaa na sasa hizi vitabu cha amenipatia nasoma naanza kuona i can live a different life kumbe this is not the end of it unasoma hizi dr ben carson gifted wow, hands amekupea vitabu after vitabu mr nandoha thank you so much amekupea vitabu after vitabu so by the time na clear form 4 niki come out nili just ingia kule cause of course hakuna nini hakuna do nika perform i got a b plus of course maths a easy chemistry easy nini but obviously nikaenda Nairobi University nikajaribu kutafuta sponsorships unaambiwa leta tutakulipia partially leta 40000 40000 na huruma mnalipa nyumba ya 1500 <coughs> utatoa wapi utatoa wapi hakuna so of course that's when i joined the theater Mabu the national theater the kenya national theater wow yeah wow KNT. KNT. The home of every single home. artist. Yes. <laughs> nika join nikaenda. Niliona tu auditions by Theatrix. Nika, Theatrix Arts. Uh, yeah, by by Aliwa. David Aliwa. David Aliwa. Mm. So nikaenda nikachukuliwa, tukaanza set books, tukaanza ku perform mkienda. Mkitravel. Mkitravel. Mm. But then nakaa naona hapana. Mi mi stuck hii kitu forever. Like you know you feel like there's something big in me that's what i want sikuwa najua ni nini so changing times i think around sijui ni shoot gani ilikuwa inashootiwa place na tulienda ka extra so mimi hiyo shule nikaiona nikaipenda nikaanza kuambia mamangu mam mimi nimeona shule ya journalism mam nimeona shule ya journalism so hiyo mamangu alikuwa ashaanza kuomoka so unapata ana save 10000 ana save nini siku nyingine mamangu akatoka kikomba akakuja akaika viatu zake hapo akaniambia ndio utafute shule mtalipa simi nikaenda nikatafuta nikapunga ile shule nilienda nikaona watu kuna journalism nini nikaenda nikauliza au how much is it 140k nikapelekea mamangu akasema ni sawa tulipe 20 kwanza hiyo ingine tutalipa tukiso tukisonga wow. mr steve ambani of east african school of media studies alini make nisome bila kulipanga nilikuwa nalipa pesa kidogo na na nini sasa hiyo babangu babangu alikuwa msedo lakini since zile vitu walifanyana na mama mwezi mu approach ati nisaidie na hii na hii na hii ah so si mimi nikaenda mr steve akaona talent yangu edu my director edu nochenga alikuwa one class ahead of me so kuna show walikuwa wana shoot kwa studio ilikuwa inaitwa end me reloaded reloaded yeah reloaded so directed you know chemo akishoot reloaded teacher mwingine wa camera anajulikana na watu wanaitwa jona ambia lim why don't you go try something in that studio help me nikaingia studio nikapata watu wananiambia lim ka pale ujaribu ku host you guest me nika host ka come out of na ka come naturally si tukaanza ku host shows tukiwa shule Edwin Ochenga ananiambia simama pale sasa nilikuwa prop ya Edwin Ochenga all the time akienda camera field work ananiweka ananiambia nimpigie PTC nini nikaona this thing is good hey si tukamaliza shule sasa ukimaliza shule sio unajua si mimi naenda kwa saka kina jalas si mimi naingia radio niingie presentation niingie tv niingie wapi e e e jalas shule ni poa tulikuwa na raha tulikuwa na raha nilikuwa na boyfriend life ilikuwa poa unaona ni ile unataka mind if feel ni kama i have a different life lakini unarudi bado the same place the same place so after shule me after shule nikakuwa nika depressed kabisa cuz shule was everything for me projects tulifanya alafu sasa urudi kwa mta 
hauna chochote muanze ku make demo ma nipatie 4000 nika record nikaona hii maisha mimi na nicho inanichosha so i'm sitting there on facebook na una best yangu anaitwa Jacky ameenda dubai nikamwambia Jacky naweza kuja dubai nini nini akaniambia hey, come there are jobs here kuja tu na one month uh, visa ufanye nini come na one month visa utafute job huko so nikaenda dubai nikaanza eh hey, 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 dubai if you are watching from dubai goja tu shikilia kunywa maji na Mm. 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 You know we share a lot with you. Mm -hmm. eh? The really? National Theatre. Yes. Aliwa was my boss. He was, he was also boss. your boss. Yeah. At East Africa School, that is where Boyo, who was yes. my girlfriend then, the mother of my daughter, went to school. Wow. Wakiwa na uyu uyu director idu na kina nani? What is Jimmy, Jimmy no, Wanjala. Jimmy. Jimmy Wanjala and everyone. Wow. Nilikuwa nakuja kumchukua hapo. <laughs> hey. hey. It's been a journey, it's eh? It's been a journey. How was your experience at the National Theatre by the way? Um, good. Uh -huh. Aliwa ni ali ni alikuwa ananiuliza msichana, si hata upake mafuta kwa uso. Mm. Msichana, si utembee vizuri. <laughs> Aliwa. <laughs> Msichana, si utembee vizuri. Msichana, si ufanye hivi na hivi. Aliwa taught me a lot. Aliwa taught me a lot. He taught me confidence. Kuna saa tuki act enemy of the people. Nilikuwa Petra Stockman. Sasa mi na ile ukikuyu yangu, si unaenda? Just as I thought. Aliwa nakuliza, ebu iseme vizuri. Atoka ukikuyu kwa ulimi. He was very harsh. Lakini I look back and I'm like, he built my self-esteem. He built my confidence. I can be able to sit na jalas nim host na nisi feel like out of place. He built, I went to performing the biggest roles in set books. So, he set book iki toke anajua the main role ni yangu. Wow. Main role ni yangu. Main role ni yangu. Yes. Why it not for Facebook, uh, nini, for <coughs> set books? Yeah. I can tell you, even myself, mm. out of the confidence, nini, Sababu, when you're doing set books, you yeah. read a lot. Yes. You read, you cram, you see, yeah. you see names, you see lines, you yeah. see everything. Yeah. Even my confidence, me ni kitoka o mabei. Mm -hmm. Hata kizungu nini, hata kiswaili likuwa ni shida. But then, like I was telling you in the interview, yeah. I ended up becoming one of the best Swahili narrators, one of the best English narrators, the National Theatre. So, mm -hmm. guys who have always been telling me, I need to act, I need to act, na we unataka kuingia kwa TV immediately. Yes. Forget about it. And at once at two National Theatre. Oh, it, will, it will be the biggest thing you can ever do. Yeah. Because this one gives you the practicals and everything that you yeah. ever wanted. Yeah. Wow. It's beautiful. So where went you huyo? Mimi ndio huyo. Visa hapo. Hey, visa imekuza. Nimeenda Dubai sasa mimi ni eh hey, Dubai. Unajua me I love telling the truth. Dubai watu wana hustle. Si mchezo. Our Kenyans are really hustling. So si tumeenda pale Dubai unalala watu kama wa sita kwa cube. Kozi unajua lazima ulipie na huko unalipia like 15k kukaa kwa place ka hiyo for a month. So tunaka... As in si nyumba yako? Si, ay, Dubai na nyumba yangu. Ah, haiwezi. So, so hey, hey, muko kwa kama kadomu? Ni dom. Kuna vitanda si mbili yati one, two, ni one, two, three. three. Salina kwa hapa kwa ya, asubi unamka, si vizako unaprint, unaenda ukidrop. Hilton, wapi, wapi, wapi. Ukisikia ta job ya watchman, una apply. Kwa zutoki Dubai bila kazi. Utatoka aje, sistangu mkubwa kwanza ni yale nilipianga flight. Nika muambia, ah, thank you. Me, my big sister has always been very supportive. Ana nilipia flight, akanibaya suitcase, akanibaya tunguo. Simi, nimeenda kuhasol Dubai. So, visa yangu ikiwa karibu ku expire three days before. That's when I got a call from Costa Coffee. I can make good coffee. They offered me the job of a barista. I started making coffee. Munaingia shift. Unasimama, unachoka. Unaona ikitu ya mgu? Mm. Usuwa itaka kusimama job for 12 hours. Hiyo <laughs> kitu ni uchoma. Unu kuna piga job 12 hours? Una piga 12 hours from 6 to 6. So ndi ufike job 6 uliamka sangapi? Si 5? 5. Murudi home by 7. So hizo nika 14 hours. Unapikia wazungu kahawa. 
we kazi ni kupika wanakuja wanabeba can i have a latte latte can i have an americano americano nimejua kupika kahawa saa hii hata ukinibaia mashine uniambie fiki yanga ma fans wa jalas na pika hiyo kahawa <laughs> so <laughs> so <laughs> nikapika kahawa but deep down nasema ukipika hii kahawa eh. how much are you being paid per month hey, less than 30000 na uko Dubai. Na uko Dubai, but wanakupea accommodation na wanakupatia transport. So at this time umetoka kwa dom pale? Yes. Um, so you, you to, a, to a better place. Yeah, wamewapea kom. So mimi nikipata tu mshahara nilikuwa natumia mam. Mm. Nikitwata natoa 5k natumia mam 25k. Mm. Kusi niko na sisters wengine bado wako nyuma yangu. Mm. So au at least hawakusoma na shida kama mimi na sister yangu mkubwa. But nikika pale Jalas, I mean naangalia tu watu niliacha Kenya. Naona my friend Brian Mwando photography anaiva huku Kenya naona Jackie Matubia ameact huku Kenya tulikuwa the same class wameact huku Kenya naona nani mwingine tulikuwa akina Hassan Mugambi tulikuwa the same theater na Hassan Hassan amechapa huku kazi inaniuma mimi naanza kulia napigia mamangu simu usiku mami i want to come back home and this is why parents should never force their kids to be in a place yenye wayuko hapi mamangu ananiambia funga suitcase kesho tukutumie pesa ya ndege nini nini so ilikuwa ina like i wanted to interview people i was passionate so nikachapa hiyo kazi nikatoka du nika resign nikakuza Kenya tena ukuze Kenya uanze haiwaka how long were you in dubai Six months nilichapa good six months nikasema mimi sitafanya hii kazi nikakuza Kenya wow yeah but Uh, there's yeah. something I've always wanted to tell yeah. to tell uh, people who have siblings in Dubai. Mm. I want to be very honest with you. If you have family in Dubai or you have brother sister working in Dubai, akituma pesa home, make sure you make the best out of that money. Because I've seen, I've been to Dubai. Yeah. I work with Tripigo so most of the time to kenda kuset nini nini we go to Dubai people work so hard people work so hard yeah. there's this water place in itwa gaje see see Burj Khalifa see pali kila mtu endaga tu Marina Marina uko yes unapata bro wako ameandikwa kuangalia wasi 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 drown ameka kwa jua Saizo Dubai imekupiga 40. Oh, yes. 40 na hapo the whole 12 hours. Uh-huh. Bro wako anafanya kazi airport, yeye ni loader. Pandisha ndege the whole day kwa jua. Mtu wako anafanya kazi kwa hoteli. And you know Dubai hoteli si ati utafika hapo upate kama ti rooms mbili ziko booked ingine. Ah ah. Ziko booked throughout. Yeah. Unajua kama ita 100 or a 200 bed hotel unapata zote ziko booked yeah. bro wako maybe your sister ni housekeeper any job in dubai then there's something so many people don't know about dubai yeah. the emirates there almost don't work no they don't so everybody who is in dubai is an expatriate working ukilala utalala nja yeah ukikaa kidogo hivi ati ujenda job unafukuzwa kazi i want to give a big shout out to every single person who is working at the gulf yeah. who watches tuko talks who watches the last tv we see you we appreciate you yeah. keep pushing we know it's not your wish to be where you are maybe you would have wished to be home to work here yeah. or maybe you've already got a good job and you're doing it well back there in Dubai because not everybody is also hustling that much exactly. kuna wat Kenya pia wameshaji push wako kwa majo poa but every other person who is pushing working hard out there in the gulf yeah. salute you thank you so much we appreciate you we appreciate you wow i'm talking about flying and going yeah. to places now let me talk you through about the Kenya Airlift program Kenya Airlift program is a program that has been seeing so many students fly away and go to America to pursue masters in IT my very good brother DMK Kiogora who is a sitting MCA at the uh, Meru County and Bob Mwiti made sure that people 
and bright students can start flying to America to go and take courses in IT. If you've ever wanted to pursue masters in IT or IT related studies, make sure that you join this program now. Next week, next Saturday, there will be a very big program that they will be doing at Safari Park. But there are so many students who are leaving even this month. Thank you, Bob Mwiti and DMK Kyogora. If you haven't seen it, please watch this video. We will be right back. This is Gonga Navad. <laughs> It supports Kenyan students to undertake IT related master's programs in the US. To qualify, one must have a minimum of a B plane in KCSE plus a second class division in any undergraduate major. Apply. For details, visit www.kenyaerlifeprogram.com or give us a call on plus 1813 573 5619. Kenya Airlift Program, empowering Kenyan students. Have you heard of the Kenya Airlift Program? An initiative that supports Kenyan students to undertake IT-related master's programs in the U.S. To qualify, one must have a minimum of a B plane in KCSE plus a second-class division in any undergraduate major. Apply. For details, visit www.kenyaairliftprogram.com or give us a call on plus 1813 573-5619 Kenya Airlift Program Empowering Kenyan Students Have you Wow! The people from Gulf of Mengia, we appreciate you from Dubai, Abu Dhabi, uh, Saudi Arabia, Qatar. Yeah. Rahma Ahmad and Asema, my biggest fear is always being sick due to cut her salary. Mm -hmm. Ruth Rabera and Asema, housekeeping uko, 14 rooms to finish your duty. Yeah. Uh -huh. Debbie Moya na sema, Gulf sinya nyaya mutu, niko Saudi Arabia three years. Yes. <laughs> wow. Uh -huh. eh, Catherine Mutuko na sema, weja la sema tupikiwe kahawa. <laughs> ah, uh -huh. Thank you so much, Lynn. My favorite, uh, the love you are receiving here. Mm -hmm. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> the love you are receiving here. Yes. Okay, this is Bonga Najalas, not two kotoks. Please, <laughs> you cannot take my shine. You cannot. Ida <laughs> Opana uh, Nasema Jalas, what you are saying is true because I'm there and I wish to come back. I share my experience one day. Please, I've been watching your show and I'm really inspired by you, Jalas. Wow, guys. Katar Ndani Joseph Mbugu anasema namna hiyo. Wow, thank you so much. Yeah. Hey. Dani Chomba anasema Qatar Industrial tuko ndani. Yes. Wase wadoa Qatar. Ah, mm -hmm. kuna mtu wako Dante DMK anasema shout out from Kuwait. Yeah. Lynette Gadoni I'm in Iraq. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Oh, wait, kwani mumeamuka nyinyi wote. Napenda watu wangu wa Gulf. Oh, thank you so much yeah. and, uh, for everybody who actually ako huko nje and always keeps Lynn and myself in com uh, company. You people who click, watch, and even subscribe yeah. to our channel, we appreciate you so, so much. Mm -hmm. So the Kenya Airlift program, like yes. I was telling you, yeah. so Bob Mwiti went to the United States as a, as a student mm -hmm. of IT. Mm -hmm. When he finished, he opened up his company called Upstech America, yeah. and they started the Kenya Airlift program. It's, mm -hmm. not an, it's not a new program. Long time ago, the Kenya Airlift program is the program that made people like Obama, Tom Boyer, go to the United States. Okay. So you know, but it was dead then. Yeah. So I may revive. Mm -hmm. As we speak, there are more than 80 students already yeah. who taking masters in IT. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very big program. Yeah. Kudos. I'll tell him because you have so many numbers. I'll tell him to give yes. you some advertisement. Thank you, you do for him. Asante. It'll be very bad. Yeah. Nataka ile meza yako ya advertisement. Ikuwe kama hii. <laughs> Ukuwe na Kakensos pale. Ukuwe na Odibet pale. Ukuwe na Velvex watu yeah. wakisanitize. Eh. Ukuwe na mwana inji credit. Yes. Hey. Tunaskuba like kazi. Lakika jalasu kukwa kila posta <laughs> ina yoko. <laughs> Lino na jowe mwenye ukitaka utakuwa tu. Because you are big. Your, cha you. your channel is big. Thank you. you touch so many people's mm. hearts and people watch you. Mm. The interview tulifanya jana tu is already over 100,000. <laughs> Unaona ikifika ngapi yo? One million. One million and over. Si muende mwotka mchawotu. La, ni lazima. Wow. Na, na wajua. Ni lazima itafika one million. So, so, yeah. so, 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 so. Uh, sisi interview. Hakuna nini yetu imefika one million imaji. Itafika. Itafika tu. Yes. Hindi. Jesus name. name, amen. Amina. <laughs> Amina. So, 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 yeah. so, so, you are here one day. 
Yeah. Packed everything. Vibaya sana. Back home. Eh, hey, nilinusa hii mchanga yetu hapa. Uh-huh. Jalas venye tu umesema unaona Dubai because mm. I've been in Dubai and I've been in Qatar. Mm. Si rahisi. Mm. Watu kufagia, mtu ana unajua uko ni kufagia fagia, panda mimea, panda hostess hostess we dress but we have amazing kenyans huko uzuri ni we love each other mm. wasewa gulf wanapendana mm. so i remember when my dad died hata wasendi wana ku wana kuchangia mm. to my home sijui nini so we have really amazing people in gulf and they work hard so venye tu umesema ukitumiwa dona mtoto wako cuz i've done these stories mm. unapata wa, 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 wazazi wametumiwa do mm. na watoi wao wajenge mse anarudi 3 years of kulala for 2 or 3 hours unapata mzazi wako alikula hizo pesa zote it's heartbreaking it's heartbreaking wow. so watu wajue fast gulf si mchezo but good jobs exist huko mm-hmm. na lazima ukue disciplined mm-hmm. kuna wale watu wa kupati mshahara ikikam you should Pinga ask sheree. yourself umeenda kufanya uchomeke na mtu anapiga sheree uchomeke ha. the whole day upige sheree kamnyweso so lazima Thank God niliwacha pombe. <laughs> Uliwacha pombe. Baridi. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what yeah. we are saying is yeah. why we started Jenga and Alex and yes. yeah. So our season 2 mm. we are planning to put a whole home eh, yeah. of gated community yeah. of 52 houses. Good. So 52 houses ukiwa kata utakuona na video kabisa tunakwambia hey Lynn how yako ndio hii? Yeah ndo hii leo tuko foundation yes. ndo hii tunafika linton so ile mambo ya kupigia mama yako a a a a unatuambia tu jalas nyumba yangu ni namba yako ni 12 ndo hii imefika hapa Good. and we'll be doing that and we hope our second season mm. if you are out there in america if you are in the gulf if you are anything yeah. you'll be able to partake some of the houses that you are planning to put yes. on that jenga na alex na jalas i don't want to take the shine from you, no, no, you but not. then but then immediately yeah. you are in kenya now yeah Mm-hmm. Naweza salimia Alex. Alex. Mwakideo. Ah, chana na. Okay. Usini kwambia. Mambo ati hakuna. Alex mambo. So. Ma- imagine imagine how I've been depressed for the longest time. Kwa sababu naamka kufanya kazi na mwanaume. Unaona <laughs> sura mbaya. Hey, lakini Mungu unikumbuka. Sasa hizi nikiamka naona kamene maisha soft. Hey, brother. <laughs> Alex. Alex mambo. If you are even watching <laughs> get out of the life yo bi yake moja ita affect sana but that's my brother yes uh, you guys do an amazing job together so mm-hmm. si nimerudi huku nikaanza projects let me shout out some few people i have an amazing friend of mine he's called gregory kiwo i am who i am because he saw the potential in me greg alikuwa ananiambia you can do it so every other time hata venye tu nilirudi Kenya niliwatafuta nisaidieni ku shoot pilot 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 we shot one of the pilots savings umekaa umeweka kwa pilot nika shoot kitu inakaa Oprah Winfrey vibaya sana tukaenda kwa Bonia papa wa 254 akatupatia hall na less money Gregory akakaa na watu wake cameraman lighting wewe unajua nilikuwa na watu kama 15 kwa set na hakuna mtu hata nilikuwa nalipa wow. hakuna mtu nililipa all those walikuwa contacts wa Greg aliona idea akasema i love it let's shoot tuka shoot an amazing talk show hapo nikaita nani <laughs> si mimi nilipata Kilimani Moms ina trend si mimi nikaita show yangu Kilimani Moms show so nime shoot show tumeongea tu hizi topics mi uleta but sasa ilikuwa live audience mm. tumechukua tumelipa transport tumeleta watu kwa show tume upload promo ime trend kwa youtube Three days later napata youtube channel yangu imefungwa nime strikeiwa na copyright hii jina ilikuwa isha copyrightiwa by the way guys when you have an idea copyright it and check kama hiyo jina iko already na mtu mwingine nikapata copyright claim nini nimechukua jina ilikuwa ishachukuliwa na ka, uh, certain media company sivyo ndio show yangu na investment yangu yote ikaisha ilikunywa maji hivyo ai brother mimi nili, mi nilikuwa depressed nilikuwa tu nakaa home nasikiza tdjx ilikuwa tu ni mimi na tdjx sasa kazi ilikuwa ni mimi na tdjx it doesn't get better than it doesn't this get better. Hey. tdjx 
na kana msikiza niko depressed nilijua hiyo show nauza nilijua any media station will come for that show it me i believe in myself and i keep saying i'm the best kwa sababu it's only when you tell yourself you are the best usiji doubt me i'm the best nilijua hiyo show jalasi inaenda <coughs> copyright kukuza tulikuwa tumeshoot episodes mbili au watu 15 tena utawatoa wapi na kila saa hello welcome to kilimani mom show my name is lingugi intro umefanya na jina mid umefanya na jina outro umefanya na jina hata iwezi editiwa out graphics ziko na jina kila kitu hata voice over ukifanya itokee okay venye mlifanya kwa kwa show mm. mimi lin nita afford lawyer wapi hii nairobi nita afford lawyer wapi huyo lawyer kwanza alinipigia hello I would love to tell you that you need to remove our content from your nini nini. Ushasikia mnyonge ana chake. Hivyo ndio nilisikia. Uzuri, mimi na directed you know Chieng mm-hmm. tumekuanga in touch for a long time. Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa nimemsendianga message akisikia kitu aniambi, aniambie. Nikakaa like one month na jua sasa nyumba yangu nitafungiwa. Rent me si na mimi narudi kwa mamangu sasa na kusanya vitu tena nirudi nikaange na mama na mamangu. Sasa hiyo ulikuwa umehama huko. Nilikuwa nimehama sio. Umeenda kuishi wapi? Kwangu tu. Wapi uko? Hapa Gumba. Au Gumba. Gumba estate huko chini. Mm. So, mi na goza ni pack vitu zangu niende niambie mama, mi sasa maisha imenishinda sijui round ya ine ama ya tano ama ya sita. Maisha ilikuwa inchane. Mi sijaiona breakthrough in my life. Eda na Nicole Edu ananiambia mambo lin poa mi kesho sasa ni hapa 2017 mwisho mambo lin poa mi nataka reporter tunaenda election na sina reporter he ambia edu analipa pesa ngapi mi jua ilikuwa kila kitu ni do 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 edu analipa pesa ngapi eda kaniambia 10k nikamwambia mi nakuza 10k ni pesa mingi nakuza kushoot tukaenda raila a uh, nini kidero akikast results sonko akikast nini votes so mimi niko side ya sonko uko buru timu nyingine imeenda kidero si mimi nikaleta video yangu hapo ya sonko hello we are here at imara daima and mike sonko is almost casting his vote sijui nini nini now let's ask people what they think mambo po a uh, uko aje tuko fiti sasa wewe umekam kuvotia sonko ama ni sonko 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 hakuna mambo sio sasa tukaleta video tukuweka video juu kwa tuko mimi arasquati ati nikuje nifanye job tuko niliingia tuko by accident so kuingia tuko uzuri ama ubaya mimi nikajua hiyo siku ndio job yangu imei kukaka raila akasema ame reject results Lin nilifurahi eh hey, Raila asanti kwa sababu ye ku reject results inamaanisha story ijaisha follow up nyingine na nyingine na nyingine so na count Raila kama ame reject results kesho kuna hii hapa kuna nyingine pale na sana ambia edu edu Raila ame reject so kesho tu rea, tufanye reactions za wa za watu wana feel aje si mimi ni pesa bado nataka ikuwe mingi at least nifikishe 30k ama 40k 40k nitawaza kuhusu hiyo mwezi mwingine later ah kidogo kidogo si tuko wakapenda my work edu ananiambia mdosi wangu anasema anataka kuongea na wewe kwenda hapo kwa Skype na mdosi ananiuliza expectations nini nini nikaambia eh mimi nataka naweza taka kazi sasa hiyo mimi sikuanga hata najua story za tuko mingi ama nini hapana kuingia kazi pale tukaingia nikasema in my heart mimi sitafanya cloud chasing mimi nataka kuletea watu story za watu wenye nime grow up now kama ni msi yako huruma nataka niende nifanye story ya huyu mtu akiwa huruma ni sawa kama ni story ya mtu wako dagoreti twende yani mimi nataka tu nionge na watu bila kuwashainia bila nini tukafanya story zikaanza kuperform pale tuko kidogo na kuperform ni two comments 778 views kidogo kidogo hii hivi edu na yetu na kazana edu ananiambia hapana lin tukaza tuka, me that's why even in my video I'll forever say director edu no chain the legendary kwa sababu alikuwa anani push senye mimi nataka ku give up our breakthrough ilikuja tulipita globe 
mkishuka si tu na gari so tunapita meaning in the koja ya endeza zake nikaona today mfulani to street kids hapo hiyo siku nilikuwa na cramps vibaya isho si watu wanaweza sema cramps mm. nilikuwa na cramps vibaya saa mimi inanishinda na kulikuwa kunanyesha utu to street kids kulikuwa na cramps lakini kulikuwa kunanyesha ay 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 sanitize a pole pole sanitize eh 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 sanitize sanitize bwana ni side sanitize ai tufungaisho eh eh sadi likwa na cramps na kuliko kunanya eh ai eh eh tufunge tuko twende sasa tumalize shati eh eh ah how much did girls ni ni nini Nimeuliza tu. Okay. <laughs> so, nikaambia Ed, situfanye documentary ya how street women in Kenya deal with periods. Ed akaniambia, "Mimi hata najua kwenye tutapata hawa street girls hapa California isili. Niko na best yangu antu nimpigie. Mm. Twende tuongee nao madem, tuwafanyie sto, story." Simi na Ed tukaenda tukafanya hiyo story how street women it's on youtube how street women in kenya deal with periods to upload he ku upload jalas video ilienda viral mimi naamka asubuhi tuli upload 9:30 pm cause kujua kwa kenya wataipenda plus hiyo hiyo subject venye madem wanakuambia venye they deal with periods nini asubuhi watu walikuwa shata after office za tuko ziko wapi washaanza ku drop sanitary towels wameandika email lini we saw your video we want to donate we want to go help those girls video ikakuwa na shares ikaenda viral nasikia tu watu wameanza lin gugi lin gugi did this story lin gugi did this story lin gugi did this story so from there watu wakaanza saa ku check zile video tulikuwa tumefanya hapo mbe mbele wow. unaona video ya two months watu wameanza ku comment so people started subscribing to tuko they started subscribing to our work tukaanza kufanya hizi story za wa tu unaona msee amekuandikia email like, my wife is sick nimekuwa nikikaa na kwa nyumba for seven months ako na stroke please fanyeni story nisaidike tunaenda tunafanya story wa Kenya wanakuja wanasaidia mm. so from there unaanza tu kwa comment kuuliza mtu mtu anasema ude manaitangua lin ngugi ama liz ngugi ama an mm. so kidogo kidogo unaona people now started accepting cause ya zile story unawaletea wow. mm. alafu my boss at tuko waitangu wanaitangwa leaders walinipea hiyo room ya kukuwa creative cause ninge easily ningefanya contents kwa napenda but i made it clear to everyone there is a certain type of content i want to produce for kenyans and ni wale wanakuambia go do it mse anakutrust anakuambia hata ikifail hata anza kuambia oh si nilisema nini my uh, tuko team they are very supportive you come up with an idea and they support you and slowly by slowly sindio nikaanza saa ku call nikapata confidence ya ku call watu na call jalas jalas ananiitia interview eric 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 ananipea interview so from there ndio tukaanza hizi stories za humanitarian i did them hizi story mi ufanya na sasa hicho kakufanya cause first and foremost mm. unajua kulala njaa ni nini wa so i know that part kulala njaa kulala kuona njaa kwanza <laughs> unaiona hii ndio yes. hii sai unaiona mm-hmm. ndio hii hapa so i needed yes. I, before you even go far yeah. i needed to send picture clear something so that yes. i can appreciate you for something you did for us in this show uh, kidogo tu yeah uh-huh. and uh, we got a story from your side yes and uh, and uh, i wanted to show you something yeah Uh-huh. Picha clear when you are ready you'll tell me eh uh-huh. when you are ready you'll tell me yeah. i've already sent it to him so when you are ready you'll just tell me picha i'm i'm ready eh Sasha. yeah okay. wow so these are stories you've been doing throughout yeah cuz i know how it feels mm. i know how it feels to have mtu mgonjwa amna insurance hamna pesa ya hospitali harambe zimekuja mmechanga 12k the bill ni 3 million I know how it feels kukosa sanitary towels. I know how it feels kukula mchele na geshau. Unajua geshau? Geshau. Geshau ni ile supu ya maragwe. So hiyo uh-huh. supu ndio mnaika kwa mchele ndio ikuwe so, na kala. Mlikuwa na nini? 
<laughs> yeah, so I know. So that's why me ufanya hizi stories cuz mm. and I felt hakuna mtu ana tell hizi stories. I was so tired of every day nikifungua interview naona um mtu wako on TV kesho the same people on rotation. The same nini naona why are we not telling hizi stories za um mtu anakata kata sukuma hapa? Why are we not telling stories of a man mwenye anavumilia bibi yake ni mgonjwa for seven months anampanguzanga na mpikia uji. These are stories that need to be told. Why are we not telling stories of bwana ya mtu amekata mtu mikono hivi mbona usiende tu kuinterview huo mama usikie pain yake the regular common mwananchi why are we not telling their stories so me i said it's time for me to tell their stories wow and one yeah. of the biggest stories you ever told mm. that ended up here was the story of harun oh yes harun harun the sick boy yeah uh, and uh, i was just talking to him eh? yeah. mm Wow, this the story yeah, but, is huge. But that was done by my colleague Kevin Philip. Yeah, but it was, it, yes. was, it was from Truco. Yeah. Mm. Wow. So I just need you to read my conversation with him from here. Harun. Mm. Anasema hapa from tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow I'll go for hands surgeries, both hands at 6 a.m. Akatuma picha. Akatuma picha. Weka hiyo eh, picha. We alafu niendele endele akasema hi bro kamwambia niambie i wanna say thanks for everything wow surgery was successful now i'm recovering on both hands it was complex one but god ali come through wow 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 kwa mulizo nasikia ziko poa ya ziko light and they have shape I went for dressing and I'm healing well. Ukasema wow god. Wacha nikoje kidogo nipone. Ukamwambia Mungu mbele akasema sawa. Wow. So guys if you can remember story ya yes. story Arun maze ako yeah. India as we speak right wow. now. Hey, he traveled with around 3.9 million. Wow. Uh, 3.9 million. Yeah. I know it might not be even enough. Yeah. Uh, but I just wanted him to go because he kept telling me hey maze na nini 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 mm. kamwambia let me talk to governor wow. joho akatuma hizo maticket wow. tuma ticket akaenda and just like i told him you just go when he went to the hospital amefanywa hiyo surgery wow. ya mkono zake zote mbili wow. as you speak ananiambia the light yeah. anasikia kama ziko na shape so unajua venye aliamka mm -hmm. unajua venye alikuwa kwa surgery alikuwa yeah. so ameamka amepata mkono zake zimefungwa sana alikuwa jana tukaongea kaniambia just wish wanifungulie tu hizi bandage nione tu mkono zangu yani wow. but the first thing ameniambia i can feel their light and surgery is successful when he comes back i hope he can do a follow up story yes. or anything yeah. but when god and amekutumia yeah. na timu yako ya tuko yeah. and everyone maze god our blessed to say shout out to kevin wow yeah. wow kevin is one of your kevin phillips he's one yeah. of our producer an uh -huh. amazing guy mm -hmm. we do almost similar content mm -hmm. just to impact lives together wow yeah what is this one thing that drives you to do these stories zahawa mm -hmm. just as i said i've been there I know unakunga nikikuuliza <laughs> ni nini unaogopa unasema shida mm. poverty mm. hata mimi staki shida mimi mm. kwanza staki mimi jealous nachukia shida ara zingine nakaanga na mka tu 230 cuz mimi nasema nikwambia nataka gari kaa yako mimi niko na gari magari uko na magari nikasema ate yani nachukia shida nachukia i hate kukumbuka venye times zilikuwa tough i hate mimi nachukia hata nikiingia single room na si kubaya napata nakuwa mm. paranoia kidogo remembering e, my... unaona mm. cuz unakumbuka cast of kenyu hapo zile tambi ushatumia stove tambi tatu ndio zinafanya so unavuruta hii na hii na hii hapo katikati useme basi ni hata mkoa na stove no nilikuwa na stove okay. nikiwa mwisi <laughs> Eh. Sasa kuna wakati nimeivuruta. Eh. Aifiki mafuta. There you go. Na mafuta ni ya tenbo. Mafuta iko. Yes. Lakini yes. kitambi. Hakuna. <laughs> Uki. Eh. Eh. Na na, na hiyo hiyo kiti ilikuwa inachoma. Yeah, eh. Sasa tuseme nimeleta demu yangu huko mwiki. Mm. Alafu sasa nimempikia nini? Eh. Na unajua uwezi izima ndani ya nyumba. Eh. <laughs> so naiweka pale nje na maji. <laughs> 
Piga stofu na maji yes. hapo. Yeah. Ukizima ndani ya nyumba utanuka yeah. mafuta the whole day, the whole day. Hey, hey, hey. Sendi, hiyo kitu si mchezo. Stack shida. Mister, kina msisemi nataka ati ku live extravagant. Mm. I want enough to be able to afford. Mm. Hata leo nikisema nataka kula chapo mbili. Mm. Isi come na ma stress kwa sababu hiyo life mi nimeishi mpaka unakaa unasema hey mimi staki life tena mm. so nikiona watu na naona i can tell their stories na siku moja we've told so many stories mtu anakaa ka squiru and am i allowed to say this yes. there is a comedian by the name squiru nilimfanyia story juzi watu wamesema yeye ni mweusi ticha alikuwa anamwambia you, sh- you belong in the game park you belong where Squiro hata mimi sim reply messages ya nashinda tu akini text lina ki asanti 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 mimi namwambia mimi kazi ya Mungu nimefanya tenda wema nenda za zako but to see such people wako na hope after society imewa degrade for so long makes me proud kuona mtoto kwa huyu ako only 24 hata kuna za host one day host mm, huyo mto hii squiro wako tu na story po and he's an kuona watu wame make fun of how he looks of how he talks mm. ati una, una, una belong kwa game park huo ni ticha anakuambia hivyo wow. so kuona after 24 years huo mtu hii ako na hope saa hii ako lean eh, thank you self esteem yake imepanda imerudi it's let, let me ask you which is this one big one interview liwai fanya ukasema wow kai sasa hii swali mimi ushindi wa kujibu kwa sababu just one moja one like, i know what? let me I tell you this interview and this is big not your breakthrough interview yes. but because your breakthrough interview yeah. ni ile ya madem yeah now one interview you say that you know what this is huge there is a man by the name Erastus of Fula mm-hmm. the one mwenye the wife passed on unfortunately mm-hmm. but this man as i said he catered for that woman for seven good months tulienda kufanya hiyo interview mi nalia edu analia guest analia sasa hata mnashindwa sasa hapa nani atasaidia mwingine that man he loved his wife through thick and thin alikuwa anaosha bibi yake for seven good months anam, anampea uji hivi hani kunywa na kunywa anamta anampanguza anamvalisha smart anamtengeneza nywele si tulitoka kufanya hiyo story and I was like this is such a beautiful story inaonyesha you can be there with someone not a see relationship or is at a friendship you can be there and stick with someone for better for us so erastas of fula for me will always be that story and it will change pia mimi it will change vitu mingi sana kwa life yangu i learned pesa si kila kitu of course money is a medium i learned that anything can happen to anyone but how you react mkiwa hapo that's so that's the story for me Which was your first of first interview to hit a million views oh, direct i don't know ni nani i think it's erastas erastas yes, yes. we have so many but when, erastas when, when 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 it hit 1 million <laughs> What did you guys do? Atukuamini brother. Ah, you see see by the squeezy. Tulikuwa guy tuko 1 million. 1 million, 1 mi- like 1 million views, organic views. Mm-hmm. Hakuna sponsored, hakuna anini, a million views. We were so happy. We were, everyone at Tuko was happy. Do you we, love what you do? I love what I do. I can do this job but I can't mefunga macho. I love this job. This job is ile job una feel I feel like I'm living my purpose mm-hmm. first and foremost because I feel like I'm living my purpose and this is something I've always wanted to do. So for me this job completely love it. It's everything that you ever want. It's everything I would ever want. Wow. Yeah. Do you think that maybe took us given you the bigger voice or yeah. what are you looking at that is much bigger yeah. than your two seats there yeah. and uh, director Ochieng on this other end? The way you say Radio Africa will always be family to you. Mm. Tuko will always be family to me. Mm. Even if I ever leave, they've given me everything I need to be able to even blossom mm. and go out there and conquer the world. Tuko gave me an opportunity to be creative. Mimi mdosu wangu aje kuja kaniambia usifanye hii, usihost ule, stack hii show. Hata sometimes they are amazed. Tu msichana anafanyanga aje hizi vitu 
Tuko for me will always be home and that's why I say hata nikitoka I want to be able to come back. Mm. Nipige show moja mbili kwa viti zangu pale, mm. nitoke. I want to grow jealous. I want to go out there. I want to face the world. My vision is to tell stories across the world. Mm. I want to be able to interview people wakiwa Pakistan, wakiwa since semi nataka kuwa the next Oprah Winfrey, but I believe in possibilities. I believe in knowing plus I hate comfort. I don't want to be comfortable my whole life ni seme sasa hizi lina kona ma fans sacha ni tulia hapa and you've taught me that you've taught me that com hiyo comfort zone hiyo hiyo ni kitu mbaya sana so i want to grow i want to blossom but i always want everyone to know that i'm a product of tuko wow i am a product how, how, how do you deal with the fans because you know when you have millions and millions yeah. of views yeah. over 700,000 subscribers yeah. Yeah. Lynn, i don't think there's anywhere you can walk in this town mtu ah how do you deal with that um first i i like it when my fans know i appreciate them i love that now kila mtu anajua lin ama pia wenye wajui watajua too but mm, and they talk about what you are what and you are so Jesus hey hey sasa but i've also learned and this is also something yeah this is something we were talking about earlier i don't want fame to get into my head you know fame is dangerous fame <laughs> fame ni olea watu wana shout lin gugi lin gugi lin gugi wacha tu hata receipt kitolewa leo watu watataka kujua ile kazi yenye mtu amefanya mzuri so i make sure there is a clear boundary between my work and your fame getting into my head i don't i love that people appreciate my work i value my fans they know i respect them i love my fans a lot but stuck your perception ya lin is famous in ingie kwa akili wow yeah what is this lowest moment you've ever had during this career? Ha 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 lowest but it's one that scared me a lot. Mpaka nikawei niendele na hii kazi ama nisiendele. One day we were covering news Baba's homecoming. Baba's homecoming from JKIA mm. when Raila was returning. The 1 million march. The 1 million march. Kidogo kidogo tia gas zikaanza kukuja mimi directed you know amenipea simu yake mm. niko na kamera yake moja <laughs> halafu pale mm. watu wameanza vurugu so me i'm scared i know i'm dying tear gas inarushwa mbele yako so mimi kidogo nilijua fast simu zimeenda kamera imeenda mimi by the time na shtukia kuna watu wananiosha uso na maziwa cuz watu uochwa na maziwa nasikia watu wanasema huni watu uko usiguze huyu huni lin watu uko huyu ni wetu usiguze huyu eh brother mimi nilishtukia vitu zangu zote nimeshikiwa wameniosha wameniambia lin ndio hizi vitu zako sasa i was so scared kwa sababu sikujua kai usiku ninge survive but it's not as bad as it seem those people walikuwa na right ya kuninyang'anya kila kitu na wanichape mm. hakuna mtu anaona mm. tuko huko si unajua kienda JKA kuna hizi nyasi ziko huko kando mm. tuko huko mimi nilipata vitu zangu nimeekewa wananiosha wanasema huni lini watu huko usiguze huyu huni lini watu huko he hata gari tulipe hiyo ni kijalu huni lini watu huko basi huni lini watu huko huni lini watu huko apana they were so protective of mm. me mm. i felt that <laughs> the way watu husema ati mm. awa hizi coexist yeah. na awa mm. people wenye sasa ningekuwa ati ah, ah watu sijui they were the ones who came and protected me mm. and for me i felt like even in kenya mimi sipendi kuongelea politics sana but tunaingia politics na wao naingia politics mm. there are so many things that can happen when we stand together there are so many things that can happen when to see ache politicians who are to divide we always remember ni sisi na si na sisi usiache vitu peti zifanye nini ziwa divide wow. yeah what about one high moment that you say that this i want to do this again and again and again kwa job mm. eh. highest moment kwa job tulikuwa na okay tulikuwa tuna shoot saa tu na director Iduno Chieng nikashtukia wa mama wametembea kwa gate wako na flowers chocolate walikuwa wamebeba flowers <laughs> nini <laughs> walikuwa wamekuja kutafuta lini watu lini watu those women made my day 
Wow. Just flowers and a card and a thank you. Mm. That made me believe like, hey, we are doing a good thing. Which is this one interview. <laughs> yeah. One interview that you say. Yeah. I wish I can do this interview. I wish this person can ever sit with me. One that I would ever love to do. Mm. An interview. Ni mm. wengi. I have <laughs> I have three people that I always feel like three dream interviews. Three dream interviews. Zenye mimi nataka ku have. If anything, I would have loved an interview with the late Wangari Mathai, but we know that can't happen. Cindy, mm. I would love an interview with the deputy president. Okay. William Ruto. That one has done. It's done. <laughs> it's that one is but done. I'll organize. Yes, you and I would organize. yes, and I would have loved to interview the woman I consider I look up to. There are two women, but I would have loved to one day interview Sophie Kenya. Wow. For me, those are my dream interviews. Wangare Madai, William Ruto, and Sophie Kenya. Uh -huh. Yes. So, uh, since Wangare Madai can't happen, yes. I will call the deputy president. Utam call. Nimambia, you want an interview with him. Kituko talks. Yes. Kiki politics. Ah, Kituko talks. Uko, uko okay. kwake. Utenda, utenda at Hustler's Mansion. Uko. Yes. I love you definitely. Sophie Kenya. Yeah. Keep on trying to yeah. reach her. Yeah. There is no doubt. I really hope yeah. on this seat. Yes. Uh, I can have Larry Mado. Oh yeah. To tell us his story. Yes. Uh, Why Larry? Larry, from his beginning, from Daystar University, mm -hmm. all the way to NTV, all the way to BBC, yeah. all the way to CNN, and he came back home as an as a Nairobi Africa correspondent. Now yeah. is an is the international. Pakanashanga. Who you mungu wa Larry ndio magani. We, where, 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 where do you face? Yes. Nikambia mungu kabisa. Nikambia mungu, mungu unajua unanipenda. Yes. But imambo ya kutuma Gabriel kila saa kwa mambo yangu utawa. Shuka wewe mwenyewe. Sata uriambie, jalasi. This is the direction I want us to take. I would really love to yes. interview Larry Mado. Okay. Uh, that is an, an interview I'm still looking up yeah. to. But then there's so, so many people that Who are... else? Would... Give us two more. Wow. <laughs> I hosted him, yes. Barack Obama. Oh yeah. If I can ever sit with him, as much as his story is out there, yes. that would be very, very big. Yeah. Uh, I also want to talk to the president before he leaves. Oh, really? I wish I can sit with him yes. to talk to him yeah. before he leaves. Yeah. Uh, because if I say Baba, Baba, we are probably interviewing him in two weeks' time. Oh, yeah. His schedule uh, has just been busy. Good. We've already booked it. Yes. We are interviewing him very, very soon. Yeah. Then again, I want to interview uh, an interview. What's a, It's an interview that I don't want to tell you. Uh, 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 Wonderful. Uh, that's that's okay. huge. All the best. That's huge. All so the we'll best. keep on pushing and trying yes. to see. Yeah. If, but then before we just close, let yes. me just talk about uh, a, a product that uh, I think even you yourself should uh, actually be using. This yeah. called Jamex. Yes. Jamex is called Jamhuri Express. Now Jamhuri Express is a shipping company based here in Kenya, mm -hmm. shipping stuff from people in the US yeah. back here in less than 10 days. Yeah. They are based here on Bunyala Road. So all you have to do is go to your favorite, to your favorite uh, uh, shopping e-shopping e platform, okay. whether it's eBay, uh, Body and Wax, or ch whichever Amazon. Yeah. Just go, just check, and uh, make sure that you use them to ship your products back to Kenya in less than than than. Than ten days. Less than ten days. Yes, in okay. ten days, because yeah. wanna ship nandege. Okay. So, but between you buying, putting in cart, and them shipping it or yeah. just flying it down there, uh -huh. they always just take ten days. Okay. Please, if you are in the U.S., you're planning to buy stuff to send back home, or you are here, you want to buy stuff, uko U.S. Make sure that you check out okay. Jamex Express. Right. Amazing, amazing. Yes. Lena, yeah. quick fire. Yeah. Quick uh. fire. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's not even. Oh it, it's, it's not even a lot. Mm -hmm. Your boyfriend used to live on the third floor. <laughs> you used to live on the second. <laughs> what was his name? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me, Mister. <laughs> Alika. <laughs> uh huh. Ah, jealous. Okay. Uh -huh. Forget the past. <laughs> yes. Are you dating right now? I'm very much single. You are single. Yes. Uh, can we expect? Uh, 
uh, somebody perambulating around do you believe in fairy tales there's a crash to say me kuna crash you're crashing with someone or an a crash uh, maybe both ways <laughs> To say me kuna mtu fahali. Muna wata mkiongea ongea. Tuna tuna ongea ongea. Muna vurutana hivi. What do you una... look for in a man? Uh, of course, godly. Not mm. God intoxicated. Mm. But someone mwenye eh. mm-hmm. ana akona is or believes. You believe ya. Yeah. yeah, you have to. Kuna godly intoxicated. Eh, kuna mwenye ana kuambia vaa hii si juusi. Eh, apana. Mm. Iyo, mm. iyo apana. Ama tajioni kwa nyumba. Eh, eh. Mukiwa nyumbani jioni. <laughs> Yes, my bab kabla. Wacha tu kabidi mwilizeti kwa Kristo. Wacha kabla tujafurahia. Tunajikabidi mbele yako Bwana. <laughs> Does he like what you do? Does yes. he appreciate what you do? Very supportive. Very supportive. Yes. Uh, if you were to leave the house, what is this one thing that you can never leave the house without? One thing I can't leave uh, my notebook. Your notebook. Yes. Wow, your notebook. Yeah. If you were today yeah. to talk to Kenyans and look back and see the situation and everybody everything that is happened right now. Mm. What would you be able to tell the Kenyan young girl today? That, and it's funny because I was having this conversation after our shoot. Hakuna mm. chaburi. I think it's important and you challenged me for us to be able to tell these things as they are. Weka ni mschana, first jua, just love your passion hustle for yourself the perception that a man will come and give you everything hiyo ni fairy tale sabe ni umesema na ujue hakuna chaburi like anything you get ukidhani ni aburi there is a price attached to it so only you utajua price nini and the price can be so many things the price can be your life in danger the price can be you losing your dream the price can be you so just know, even as you move, expect yaburi. Because we have so many women who have walked ahead of us. Akina Catherine Kasavuli, she's still following her dream right now. So usi expect ati mtu akutoe pale huruma, kama saja last maybe, anitoe huruma, anipeleke runda. Easy vitu za haraka haraka they always have a prize. So even as a young woman and you're hustling and you're trying your best, eh, make sure path yako iko straight. And we're having a lot of cases tai. Udema mefanyiwa hivi, udema mefanyiwa hivi, udema mefanyiwa hivi. And as you said, it's important for us to start asking questions like, what happened? Ndiyo tukajipata hapo. Because prevention is better. If you're able to talk to our women, tuambia kuna chaburi. Uchali anakubaya iPhone. Na kona bibi yake pahali, we jua tu there is a price to pay. You might not see it now, lakini jua there is a price to pay. So be smart, be intelligent. Don't just go out and expect vitu za raisi. Jalas ni baie iPhone shika lin, ni baie range shika, ni baie nini. What's the price? Before you do anything, ask yourself what's the price. Wow. To end, and everything is possible. Kitu watu wajui ni, you must be disciplined. My journey has taught me. Discipline, hard work, consistency, and living a purposeful life. What do you want? Who do you want to be? When you look back 10 years later, will you be proud of yourself? So, what work we hard working? Believe in yourself. So many people are losing hope right now. Corona imefanya damaging and uncontrollable. But let's know at the end of the tunnel, kuna, kuna light pahali. Wow. Yeah. For a young man out there, yeah. because you know, I was just watching you and I was passing through your yeah. work yeah. about maybe this day you guys had gone to to distribute sanitary towels. Yes. And uh, as you guys were distributing this and the girls are celebrating, yes. the boy child was in a corner. Hey. Vijana wame parara kwa corner wana shanga. Hey. Sisi. Kwa ni sisi. Yeah. Siata sisi bas, kama ni kunyesha ndiyo tukumbukwe. <laughs> Hey, he could just have gone to the Leo. Yes, to yeah. uh, To young men out yeah. there, there are young men who are broken, mm. uh, young men struggling out there, yeah. trying to push through their dreams. Yeah. What would you tell them? I would pose this as a challenge <coughs> to our community. Mm. I think when you two to like that, they are so embarrassed. Mm. Mepeana sanitaries, 
tuchali tuko pale tunawaangalia sisi tumeletewa nini and i realized unajua mtu mtu mzuri ni ku learn from their mistakes may mm. felt embarrassed but then i said ni me learn kitu leo hata tuki distribute sanitary towels to our women what are the boys going through those young men what are they going through i said let me bury my pride i go talk to them first i told them poleni tujawaletea kitu and then i asked them what would you want wakasema wanataka boxers waliziita mens si tunataka mens kumbe mens ni boxers vest na ball na viatu za kuchezea nini ball narudi uko we narudi next month mid august tuniambia mapema trend ah we are going yeah. for real eh yeah. na ni off road usi off road ni gari off road ni ah ah azin gari ni off road sasa sulete shida ingine leta shida ingine we are going yeah, i'll talk to my guys at yes. uh, at marvel yeah uh, they can give us like three jeeps wow mm. hey Wow, thank you. Ati, wow. Ah, wacha. Si jeep tu, na si, ni Ruby, as, Ruby ni con tatu tu. Ruby tu naenda na Ruby. Thank mm. you. So you talk to Lisa. Yeah. You plan yeah. tell us that day whatever Jalango yeah. TV and Tuko TV yes. uh, Tuko Talks can do together. Yeah. Why to, not? You know to. some people always see that we are competing nini nini. No. It has never been a competition. The cake is so huge mm -hmm. and all you need to do is to support each other. Thank you. Wow. Now the guy behind the skull picture clear. I also give him a big shout yes. out. Is the guy on the OBs. Yes. This is OG our DOP. Yes. And he's our director I do. Eh. And uh, <laughs> this is uh, Nakoche. Nakoche. Nakoche came here as a he wanted an interview. Yes. He sings, eh? Mhm. Mm Na tangwa shike hii boom. Amekatalia. Usiachilie. <laughs> Uh, thank you thank you yes. so much yeah. and now as we close straight on this camera mm -hmm. i just need you to give us your last submission okay so thank you guys for watching this has been an amazing episode and thank you so much for supporting jalas tv supporting tuko talks na tuendelee kuzi kuzidi may god bless you may he bless your household bless your family na that's it tuona neni pale tuko talks na keep supporting our work Wow. Bye bye. Remember I had promised to buy her lunch now definitely. I'll take her to uh, for lunch up Miali. Let's have a good one and uh, thank you so much for coming. Appreciate my sister. Appreciate. Asante sana. What to sanitize Kisha? Eh, sanitize. Wewe ni sanitizer umefenda. Mimi nimefenda hii kitu. Oh, also known as Jambi from the Real House Sets of Kangwari. I have shared my bun in the van in the oven you get it yani ban yeah okay meshikanisha <laughs> i've shared my story pale kwa channel ya picha clear films you can check them out on youtube i'll leave the link by the way touch a link up hivi check it out listen to my story comment like share 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 na subscribe ku subscribe ni bure by the way it's free free finya tu hiyo no finya pia notification ndio ban zingine zikikam una pata your story you get it banzi okay fine what may get what may get umeelewa